Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this. This is what we woke up to this morning. Yeah, just doing a quick walk around, making sure everything is all right though. Yeah, lights are still not covered, so that's good. Seal is still intact, so that's good. Lights are all working, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm just making sure all the tires are full and everything looks good. But yeah, that's what we woke up to this morning. So I'm hoping the roads won't be too bad, you know. I already drove a little bit forward to make sure that uh, my brakes weren't locked up or frozen. So anyways, let's get out of here. Here we go, guys. This is pretty much what it looks like. Yeah, we are just getting out of town. This is what it looks like. That's right. And it looks like it's a little bit windy out there too. But that's part of winter, eh? You have to learn to drive in this kind of weather condition all the time. We got a scale coming up here very soon. Let's hope it's not going to be all day long like this and uh, we'll be able to drive okay, you know, hopefully we won't have too much of a slippery section out here on the road, you know, or too much of a whiteout. Not exactly sure how far it actually is supposed to be snowing like this, but uh, there's the signs for the scale. And they're not flashing, so we should be okay, a-okay. Right. Well, that's coming right along with me today. Let's see what we kind of, what kind of day we can have today. Hopefully, it will be a good day. Hopefully, we won't run ourselves into any kind of problems. So let's make the best of today. What we can do. Well, good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Our first victim of the day has caused an accident. He has hit the ditch. JTL. I think that's an East Indian company. Yeah, he has hit the ditch. I didn't think we were going to get this much of a snowstorm up here, but it seems like it is fairly bad up here. Now well, it looks like we got another cop up there slowing traffic down. That's what it looks like. It's not really white out, white out condition yet, but it's not looking too good, you know. So uh, I haven't really noticed it being slippery yet, but then again, you never know, right? Now this looks like the cop car that was passing me there earlier. Yeah, yeah, he has made a turn here. I can see that turn around. Yeah, I kind of figured there must be something going on because uh, this cop car passed me earlier. And uh, I was on the phone with my buddy there, and that's what I was telling him. I said, there's got to be something up ahead of us, some kind of accident, and here it is. Here it was, that's for sure. And it is steadily snowing, so you got to be careful out here. So we don't get ourselves into trouble, right? That's right. But anyways... We'll continue on with our journey here and hopefully we have ourselves a safe journey today. Hopefully they won't shut the highways down. That would suck if they would shut the highways down. But what can you do? It's just the way 
goes. Alrighty guys, here we are in Cochrane, uh, Ontario. We had stopped here at the uh, subway. We got enough room in here for uh, about two or three trucks. So I went in here and uh, parked and got me a subway sandwich. And we are good to go. We cleaned our tail lights. That's right. Look at this truck. Why you would do that? Oh well. There's two lanes here, so. Anyways, we'll get by them here very shortly, and then. Uh, we'll be back at it again. Really want to drive behind him because uh, sometimes some of these trucks, you know, they slow you down. Speed warning. Anyways, we had our bite to eat and uh, got our lights cleaned, and now we are good to go. Right, looks like the snowplow is kicking this truck out of here. The uh, it's not supposed to park in here, you know. These are turnovers for these uh, snowplows. But it doesn't matter. When you need to park somewhere, you need to park somewhere, right? That's the way I always look at it. Yeah, it's only been two and a half hours since we've been on the road, but here we go. Time to make a pit stop, clean them tail lights so people can see my lights when they drive behind me. Yeah, let's get back on our own. We got a long day ahead of us. So let's get some miles in today. Alrighty, guys, here is the uh, jam that we are sitting in. I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it, but there is finally some trucks moving. Uh, Eastbound, uh, it's been uh, this highway has been shut down since 9 30 Eastern time this morning. And uh, what time is it now? Let's see, 2 15 in the afternoon, and the eastbound lane is finally starting to move. So, uh, I just got here a few minutes ago, so I ain't gonna have to wait here too long. It looks right like we got one, one but, yeah, anyways. Let's see how long it's going to be, so we'll be right back. Well, looks like we are finally going to be uh, rolling here. Look like the uh, RCMP or OPP, whatever they call them. The police were still out here. And they still uh, are only allowing one side at the time to cross. From what it looks like right now. But now it looks like it's our turn to go. So let's see if we can see where this accident happened. But uh, yeah, we're finally rolling again. But apparently the highway is closed uh, further toward Long Lake as well. Uh, I heard one driver saying earlier there was like three accidents from here to uh, Long Lake. But I'm only seeing two as far as I can tell on the... Uh, on the website there from uh, 511 website up there so I only see two up there it basically says this one here and then there's one further down there on the other side of Long Lake I think it's talking about there's one accident up there but uh, I guess only a matter of time will tell I'm just gonna take it real easy take my time I'm not gonna rush it I'm just going to keep good space between me and the other vehicle so that if uh, I all of a sudden have to stop then I should be able to. And I don't see any of the vehicles out here anymore. I mean I did see a couple of uh, toll trucks uh, going the other way and there was a, a car that was all smashed up so uh, must have happened somewhere up here because there's uh, the other cops are sitting there. I haven't really seen any marks where the accident could have happened, but uh, I guess it did happen up here somewhere, but 
It don't matter. They got it cleaned up at least up here. Let's see, 180 kilometers up to Long Lake. So let's see if we will be in the clear from here to there. Man, there's a lot of vehicles up here. Look at this four-wheeler. You got no patient, eh? Coming over the yellow line up here. Oh, there's another police car up here. They must have let all, almost all of the eastbound lanes go through already. That's from what it looks like. Now the westbound is rolling. But we should be good to go here as long as we don't have too many other accidents, right? Let's just hope that not everybody is going to be in a rush and trying to get somewhere real fast. Hopefully we'll be okay. We'll be safe out here. But anyways, if anything else happens or whatever, we'll keep you up to date. Alright ladies and gentlemen, just to give you a little bit of an update. So far we are still cruising along here and uh, it's been slow going, but uh, other than that, we have been uh, cruising along here pretty safely lately. Haven't seen any of the other accidents that the guys were talking about, but uh, from what I saw on the internet when I checked there when I was parked up there earlier, it looked like it was past Long Lake, so uh, not sure how that's going to go, but maybe by this time they have it all cleaned up. I'm sort of thinking I'm about 50 kilometers away from uh, Long Lag. So I should be in about 45 minutes, I guess, with the speed we're rolling right now. I should be in Long Lag. I guess now we'll find out if there's more action going on or not. That's right. And anyways, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been happening for the last little bit. Just cruising along here. You know how it always goes, you know, when you get snow like this, you always got that one person that uh, wants to be overly safe, I think, sometimes, and then they drive really slow. And nothing wrong with that. Just uh, takes longer to get where we gotta go. That's all it is. Yep, better safe than sorry. That's what the wording always goes, so. Oh, there's another penner. Yeah. Well, the road must be open, I think. Because I still continue seeing trucks coming the other way, so. Pretty sure the road is open. But anyways. We want to see how far we can get tonight. I'm really hoping I can at least get up to by close to Thunder Bay to that Flying J up there. If I can make it up there, that would be fantastic. I know I got about 270 kilometers or so up to uh, Nipigon, Ontario. And there's about another 45 minutes past that to uh, to that uh, truck stop there, that Flying J. So that would be probably about another three and a half hours. I should be there. But it looks like it has tempered down a little bit with the snowing. I was talking to another guy earlier there on the CB and he was saying it started snowing around the Long Leg area. So maybe we can run out of the snow here in the next couple of hours. That would be would be good to go. That'd be fantastic if I could do that. Then we wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. We should probably have dry roads after that. That would be ideal, but if that's gonna happen, we don't know, right? That's right. In the meantime, we just gotta take it easy here and see what we can do. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Long Lake, Ontario. We're gonna be checking on our lights. I know it might be a little windy. Yeah, I think it's time to clean our lights. What do you guys think? Yeah, we've been driving in a lot of snow today. Yep, there we go. Clean that off a little bit. And you can't really see them, so remember if you guys are from the last year, we always hit this bar right here. The snow starts coming down like that, eh? There we go. Now you can see the lights up there. There we go. So, we'll clear the license plate, right? Yeah, I'll clear that all up a little bit. Clear the lights up a little bit more with the hand. 
there we go starting to get a little dark out here so we'll uh, I'm gonna try and clean them all up uh, it has finally stopped snowing right so yeah so there we go got that all taken care of check everything out a little bit make sure everything is good to go I think everything is pretty good I always go ahead and whack this with the hammer underneath here knock all the snow off of there so the lights are visible too in case they are not visible in the back there that way somebody comes from a long distance and if there's no snow steaming then they can possibly see the other lights right but uh, anyways we'll go inside and grab us a little bite to eat and then we'll see you guys all a little bit later here we go we have left that little truck stop that we was parked at we had us uh, another subway sandwich up there had to get something to eat, I was getting hungry. That's right. But it appears to be that the sun is starting to go downhill. Down, 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 down. <laughs> yeah, looks like it might be dark here in the next little while. So I figured, well, show you a little bit more on what we can. And that's pretty much at the end of the day. But... We are finally uh, out of the snow. We uh, still have a little bit of wet roads up here, but nothing compared to what we had earlier, right? I mean, you saw what it looks like, what it looked like earlier. Yeah. So if the road continue being like this, we should be able to get a few more hours in worth the driving in. So, uh, I mean, we only have about two hours up to Nipigon, so, uh, 145 minutes past that that's where that flying J is like I said earlier I think I'm going to go in there and maybe get me a little bit of fuel maybe I'll go in there have me a shower and maybe I'll stay there for the night I don't know yet I haven't quite decided yet on where exactly I'm going to be staying for the night but uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, I can't make it home tonight anyways and I knew I wasn't going to be able to get home today, so it uh, doesn't really matter. I'm going to have to wait to get home tomorrow anyways, till tomorrow also. But that's quite alright with me. We'll just uh, go to wherever we feel like we, we want to have a stop and call it a day. where we'll stop now if it's going to be up there or further down the road we don't know yet but I think even up to there I mean I, I'll have a pretty good day up to there already got uh, well 670 kilometers in right now so another 170 up to Nepagon that'll bring it up to well, 7 so 8 850 that'll be probably a little over 900 kilometers by the time I get down to uh, that flying J so that's not too bad I guess so that should be all right from there I think it's about a seven hour drive maybe a little more than seven hours so uh, <clears throat> if I get up to there it's already 430 it'll be 530 630 I'd say 7.15, 7.30 I get there I can get up so it's still fairly early in the morning and I can start at home sweet home that's right <clears throat> and then uh, I'll still be home early in the afternoon I think if I go home let's say if I stop there at 7.30 I can get up at uh, 5 30 and go so let's say six o'clock so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one I probably let's say two o'clock in the afternoon I could probably be home if I really wanted to push it you know but then again up here in Canada we are only required to have eight hours of sleep so uh, 
maybe I'll just have nine hours of sleep or, or, or eight hours of sleep and a little bit of time off that takes to get a shower done and all that. I like to have my eight hours of sleep, so maybe we'll just have nine hours off or something like that. Continue on driving home. But that's all to be seen yet. We'll see exactly what will happen yet, but let's get us on down the road and uh, let's have ourselves a safe rest of the day. Yesterday about 10:30 at night, and uh, I was tired. I didn't even feel like finishing the show off, so I waited till this morning. Yeah, you can see it's uh, uh, light flurries out there, but uh, yeah, I just went inside and had me a shower this morning, and uh, as soon as I was done with that, I went and had uh, breakfast and now we are getting ready to roll start our day but uh, I have to finish the uh, yesterday shows yet I guess it's today's show when you're watching it but uh, yeah uh, that's one good thing about being seven days behind you know you can always uh, put an extra clip in there if you need to or if you uh, need to edit something or you don't have time to put them together tonight you know or for the matter of fact you might not have internet that's a common thing for us Canadians up here, especially up here in Canada. It's not always feasible to have internet, so... Uh, but anyways, our day is over. So, uh, stick around for tomorrow. We got some good shows coming up. Yeah, I'm going to be home tomorrow. So, uh, you never know. We might be doing some cooking outside. So, that's, stick around and see what we're going to be up to. So with that being said, have a good one everybody. Please give me a good fat thumbs up. You like the video? Share the video. Hey, tell your friends and family about it. That will help me out tremendously. And if you're new to our channel, you're just checking us out. Hey, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. And tell all your friends and family about it. That would be fantastic. We could grow this community together. That's right. But uh, yeah, so have a good one everybody and we'll catch you on the next one.